What is going on everyone, it's Viz here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to get a custom Spotify theme. You can customize these themes to your liking, and it is super basic to do. What we're going to do is we're going to go to a web browser of our choice, I'm using Opera GX, and then I'm going to type in Spicetify. Alright, so once I've typed in Spicetify, you don't want to click this one, as it's no longer supported. You want to click this one. And this is being hosted on GitHub, of course. So I'm going to scroll down, you can see the features here, change colors, whole UI, you can change the CSS for some things. Alright, so you're going to click downloads, and then I'm going to choose Windows because that is my operating system. Alright, so once you've downloaded it, I already have it downloaded, you're just going to pull it up. Alright, so here's what it looks like once you've extracted it. In order to actually implement it, you're going to type in PowerShell. Once you type in PowerShell, you're going to go back to GitHub you're going to hit the back button and then click on installation. All right, since you have Windows, most of you do have Windows, you're gonna just copy this whole line and control C and go back to PowerShell, control V and hit enter. I've already done this, but I'll just show you guys how to do it. All right, it'll take a minute to kind of get everything going in PowerShell. All right, and then I'm going to type and you can see it says H for commands list. All right, so now what you want to do is you need to also make sure that you have your Spotify backed up. So spice defy and then back up and then hit enter. And I already have a backup because I have done this before. Now, in order to actually install themes, we're going to scroll down, sorry, the wrong page. Come here to customization, scroll down to community themes. All right, so you're just gonna download the whole thing by clicking here and hitting download zip. Once you've downloaded this folder, you're going to wanna open it and then you're gonna see all these themes in here. All right, and one theme that I particularly like and I'm using right now is Cherry Blossom, but I have slightly modified it and I'll show you guys how to do that. So I'm going to be using Driblish for this tutorial. All right, so I'm simply just going to click on this folder. I'm going to click File Explorer again, and then I'm going to go to my local disk, Users, click my name, and then there is a folder that appears here because you ran your Windows Shell script. Uh, and then I'm going to click that. I'm going to click Themes. All right, so I already have Cherry Blossom in here, as you guys can see. I'm going to straight up just drag driblish in here now and it is there now what we're going to do is we're going to open our config file and you see where it says current theme we're going to want to change that to the name of our theme so driblish with three b's D -R -I. all right so once you have it saved like that you're just going to hit s or control s sorry i mean save or control s and then exit out. So this is my Spotify right now. I'm going to open up Windows PowerShell again and I'm gonna say Spicetify update. And then I'm going to hit enter. And it says custom CSS is updated. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna close that Spotify and I'm just gonna hit Windows key, type in Spotify again, and we have our theme. Also, if you guys are wondering where I got these icons from, I made a video on this. You can find it linked in the description. So I have my Spotify here, um, whatever I want to see. It's a little bit of a weird theme, but I do quite enjoy it. So if I click Nike's, it'll play. I have desktop audio muted, so you guys will not hear it, but I can make this bigger. and it just looks like a very clean theme. But here's the thing, I do not like this color. So let me show you guys how to change it. I'm gonna click the Windows key and I've already downloaded this app, it's called Free Color Picker. I'm going to click it and then I'm going to click Capture, Capture Spotify Premium. And then I'm going to see what the hex code of the green is. So I've clicked that and the hex code is right here. So we're gonna copy this, all right? Now, this part you might want to pay a little more attention to since it's a little more complicated. I'm going to go back into my 
spicedify themes, the one on your local disk, so where it has the dot spicedify themes. I'm going to open Driplish, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to click color. All right, so the color right now is the one that we have here. So 1DB, remember those. And if I come over here, we can see, trying to find a 1DB. Okay, so there we go. We see secondary background, 1D, 1BD, we can see the foreground. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change this color. So I'm quite literally gonna go into Google and find color wheel. And I'm going to click this and I just want to find a hex code of my choice. So I like this kind of, let's go for a purple theme. So I'm going to copy this hex code. And then what I'm going to do is go back to the notepad, file, replace. I'm going to paste in that green hex code. And then I'm going to come back to Chrome, or sorry, Opera GX, Control C, go back here, and then replace with my new hex code. All right, so I'm just going to hit replace all. Now I'm going to hit save and close this out. So now we want to go back to PowerShell, and then we're going to type in Spiceify update. And there we go, it is now updated. So right now we have our Spotify still at green. We're gonna close it out, type in Spotify, and it should be changed. There we go. And pretty much the whole UI needs to be changed as well. So you're gonna wanna change these if you do end up doing this. Uh, on the Cherry Blossom theme, I find it was a lot easier to because I just had to change the background, but you guys can play around with that. I hope this video helps. And also, if you guys were wondering how I did this transparent taskbar, you can simply just use this app called Translucent TB. It is free and very easy to use. Alright, hope you guys have a great rest of your day. If you enjoyed this video, please consider leaving a like and subscribe. Peace.